When work is being performed less than six feet from a roof edge, employers must ensure that employees are protected by a guardrail system. When a guardrail system isn't available, then they must ensure that all employees are protected by the use of a fall restraint system or a fall arrest system, like you see what I'm wearing here. When work is being performed at least six feet back from the edge, but no further than 15 feet, then the employer must ensure that all employees are protected by the use of a guardrail system, personal fall arrest, or restraint system. The employer may use a designated area, but this is only when work is deemed infrequent and temporary. Now, when work is being performed at least 15 feet back from the edge, then the employer also has to ensure that employees are protected by the use of a guardrail system, personal fall arrest, and restraint system. However, the employer does not need to require any fall protection at all so long as the employer has a work rule that prohibits employees from going within that 15-foot edge. Once again, this work has to be deemed both infrequent and temporary. This is a designated area. This is established by the employer and it is set back at least six feet back from the edge. When a designated area is being used, an employee does not need to be protected from a fall by the use of a guardrail or personal fall arrest or restraint system so long as the work is deemed infrequent and temporary. And just to summarize, from six feet to 15 feet, all employees have to be protected from a fall by the use of a guardrail system, personal fall arrest, or restraint system. Once you're at 15 feet, the same rules apply. Everybody has to be protected from a fall by the use of a guardrail system, personal fall restraint, or arrest system. However, no fall protection gear is required to be used so long as the employer has a work rule that enforces that nobody is allowed to work from 15 feet to the edge. This is an established guardrail system. Whenever possible, always work behind a guardrail system. This eliminates the fall, and it also prevents the need for using personal fall restraint or personal fall arrest systems. I'm having to perform work outside the guardrail system, but I'm right next to this parapet wall. However, this parapet would have to be at least 39 inches high to protect me from a fall. But the employer has established anchor points which I can connect up to. Each of these anchor points have to hold at least 5,000 pounds. Once connected up to an anchor point, I can easily perform my work outside the guardrail system. This is an established walking working surface. This allows employees to get from one part of the building to the next part of the building here. This could have potentially dangerous, unprotected sides or edges. However, the employer did the right thing by doing a fall hazard assessment and installing these guardrail systems. This prevents employees from falling over that edge. It also prevents them from having to wear personal fall arrest or restraint systems. Loading docks and loading ramps, when not being used, should be protected by a simple barrier chain going across the dock area or also by just closing the roll-up door. This will eliminate the chance of an employee from falling over the edge. When using loading docks, be sure to use the bridge plate or loading ramp when unloading or loading trucks. It's important that an employee does not fall between the gap of the loading dock and the semi that he's walking on.